Hey, Divine Souls, welcome back to my frequency. Today, I want to talk about Buddha's smile. You know, Buddha is often depicted meditating with a small smirk or a small smile on his face. And, you know, to the common person, they might find that very mysterious or intriguing because they don't know what the Buddha is experiencing to be having a smile on his face. You know, they, they just see him doing nothing. And how can how can doing nothing bring a smile to your face? Um, so I just want to just kind of briefly talk about what that smile represents to me, because I've also have had that smile and I want to make an attempt to um, I want to make an attempt to describe what that smile is and what that feeling is. Um, so, you know, when you're deep into meditation and deep into that meditative space, you reach a point of peace and a point of stillness that you have a realization that that peace and that stillness reverberates through everything in existence. It is existence. You know, everything that you see, everything that, you know, is within you is that stillness. It is that peace. Um, and, you know, once you once you reach that point, it feels very familiar. It feels very, you know, it's it's a like it's like arriving back home, you know, or, or arriving back to God or arriving back to source. You know, it's that feeling of, you know, that familiar space that you that, you know, because, um, you know, <laughs> It's that it's that it's that realization that you and source are one, you know, you are one and the same, you know, you're just the aspect of source, just experiencing what you're experiencing in this in this moment. But, you know, overall, you are source um, and it's not something that, you know, is something like that's 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 woo woo. You know, it's, only, it's not something that's just how, you know, how spirituality um, is kind of trendy right now because people think that. I'm not getting that, but, you know, it's something that's very, it's very, you know, trying to describe these things, you know, words can only do so much. It's something that is, that is a very direct experience that relies on the person or, or the being to do, um, to become in alignment with that, that that awareness and that perspective, you know, um, you know, and over time, you know, throughout our life, we've had so many attachments and so many masks, so many masks that we think are us, you know, we've had all these attachments, all these traumas and all these things that we think are us, but in the reality of it, those things aren't really us, you know, um, and that's what happens when you get into these deep meditations, you start to see that, these attachments aren't you and you can let them go. And when you do let all these things go, you arrive at that point that is a very pure and divine um, consciousness that you return back to source as being pure because you you have let go of all these things that you have thought are you, you know. And when you do that, that smile just, you know, it arises out of you because you are you are literally arriving back home and you are arri arriving back to source so you know it's something like i said it's a, it's a very direct experience and even looking at the buddha and looking at you know that that smile it's sort of like a very um it's sort of it's sort of like a silent transmission where that that peace and that stillness you know it is transferred to you. And that's why some people like meditate um, in front of Buddha or, you know, they look at Buddha and, you know, they had that connection because they're allowing that silent transmission to, you know, to transfer into them and feel that peace for themselves. Um, so, you know, it's very powerful. It's it's something that is, is very timeless. Um, it's really beyond words, you know, that energy is infinite, it's eternal, it's something that's not just here for the moment, and, you know, that's it, you know, that stillness is, it's here now, but it's also in the future, or in, it's also in the past, and it's always been there, 
you know, and that's kind of also what that smile is. You understand that it's always been here, you know, it's always been throughout existence, you know, and it's something that you just, it, it requires you to tune into it, you know, um, and that's really what it is. You know, it's kind of really hard to really go deeper because that's just, it's so simple, but, and it's so obvious that people just think it's more than that, but it's not, you know, um, but yeah, so that's what my perspective on what the Buddha smile is. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace.